I can't stand people putting these signs up uh, near my house. Uh, they're just extremely annoying. I'm not sure if it's even legal. Uh, I don't care, but every time I see one, I stop and I grab it and I throw it in the back of my truck. Why? Because this is a pretty good material, um, uh, kind of corrugated uh, plastic, and these are just empty cells that run all the way through. So I thought this would make a good boat material for the hull. Um, but of course then I'm going to cover that, uh, once I have the form of the hull, I'm going to cover it with fiberglass. Well, I bought this uh, poster board from the Walgreens for a dollar, and I'm going to use it uh, to basically um, get the shape of that, of the hall. Uh, and then I'll, I'll disassemble it and use this as the template to cut this guy. Okay, well, I'm just going to pull this in half so I can get my center, uh, center line. Uh, and then from there, we'll, uh, this, this would basically give me, because this would be a V hull, this would give me uh, the bottom of the boat of the V hull. I'm not going to need that much cardboard up here, because right now I'm just doing the, the bottom half of the hull. That's we'll, how we'll use though. Okay, I'm going to cut right down the center line, uh, maybe about five inches. The boat is still not going to be this big, but just bear with me. So, I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do six inches. Okay, so now with this slit cut here, I can start to sort of bend it that way. Just to give me a, a you know, the kind of slope I'm satisfied with here. And remember, this is only the bottom part of the hall, which is going to be much, much thinner here. But I don't care about the excess right now, I'll be trimming it later. What I do care about is this this curve here, which I'm gonna mark, uh, and then I'll be able to cut it like I want. So I think a little bit less, maybe. So I think now I can just go down to this point with a straight edge. Okay, I'm only obviously marking one side of it. That's about right, so let's see our results. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. But what I want to do now is this already gives me the general slope that I want. So I want to start it out from out here and sort of curve it instead. Okay. To make the circle, or the semicircle, I'm just going to grab this bit and put it in there. There we go. And that's a pretty smooth operation there. Well, I drill a hole on the zip tie that I can 
fit this through in order to make a nice smooth circle. Just in the right spot. It's a nice curve there. So now I'm gonna trace it with a fine sharpie. Alright, perfect. I'm just gonna fold it back over now and cut both both sheets right there, both sides of it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch these together with just uh, some transparent shape. Okay, so that gave me a really nice curve there. You can see. Now it's probably going to be cut around there, but uh, I have to set this in position. So I'll probably use uh, prop it up here with some bamboo sticks or something just to make sure it stays like that. And then probably turn it around and trace it that way. So I got these uh, two by threes, and I'm just gonna I set the uh, the middle here, and these are obviously parallel. I decided to do six inches, which is basically gonna be what the distance is from one side of the boat to the other. Uh, now I'm gonna set it uh, at a certain spot here where the keel looks pretty good okay and then I'll be tracing it and then I think at the end here I'm gonna go up a little bit uh, up towards that point so I only have to mark one side of it because then I'll just fold it back again and it will be symmetrical Making sure it's center. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can get the, the sharpie in there. Let's play. Light this. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. And it's not going to be this long either. I'll decide that in a minute. <clears throat> I went ahead and taped these to the two bys. Make sure that's on the middle. Uh, same over here. And well, it looks pretty good. It looks symmetrical. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sides. These are the remnants from the, that used to be here. I think what I want to do is tape these together like that. Uh, then I'll put it back in the jig and uh, try to do the curve. Okay, so. Take this back on. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it here and see how we're looking. Yeah, so I was trying to figure out how to uh, how to sort of continue that line on. Um, so I figured maybe a zip tie 
which looks pretty straight and I put it just like that and get my curve right well hopefully you guys I'm just improvising here I've never done this before okay so I'm sure there's some haters out there gonna be like well, I went to school for boat building, and uh, that's not how you do it. It's like bullshit, man. This is how I'm going to do it, okay? All right, let me find something else, maybe like a guitar string or something. Okay, I ended up using just a piece of wire and bending it in a certain way and also making sure that it sits flat so I have to just make a few adjustments to it and while bending this I put the little dot right there mm -hmm. yep so that I, then I'll go from here to here. It's just a straight line. <clears throat> so I'm going to remove these real quick. So it's easier to cut. See, that looks pretty good. Um, this is not lining up because you, I'm still going to have more of an incline here. Uh, like so. Now I'm going to do the other side, uh, just the bottom part of it. Um, and then I'll put the other side on so that this gives me the correct position right there. No, I'm just going to trace the other side here. So this is the bottom. And it's just going to be a mirror image. And I see I'm not worried about the top for right now. Okay, so now let's put this back on and see how that looks. I'm going to fasten this bolt again to this side here, just in a few spots. Took this and fold it in half. Um, then I'm gonna. I, I was able to just sort of hold this thing. Um, so I'm gonna pick the side that I like best with the with a good angle, which I think is gonna be this side. And I'm gonna trace that side. And I'm gonna the, the folded part uh, is gonna go right there. Uh, in the center, and I'm only going to trace one side, 
like I said, I'm just going to fold it back up. Just kind of remove this tape with that. All right, uh, disassembled the boat and uh, got it just like I wanted. Disassembled it and basically traced it onto um, the plastic here. I also cut uh, just one side of this board, of this plastic, to make a nice straight uh, keel, just like that. Okay, so I've just been cutting it with the knife, and that seems to work pretty well. So let's continue that. Oh. 